Hello, my name is David Baker, and I'm a current dual degree student with the MHRLR and JD program. And today I just kind of wanted to give a brief overview of the program and the benefits it can provide you if you decide to pursue the program. I'm going to start off by talking about something that's maybe almost uh, too obvious of an observation. When you're dealing with human resource management and with labor relations, uh, you're talking about organizing labor that's provided by employees. And this might be a little hyperbolic, but every breath you take is basically regulated by the law. Uh, you're going to be recruiting, training, supervising, disciplining employees in the workplace. Uh, you're going to be managing employee relations, bargaining with unions, uh, dealing with extremely personal employee information. You're going to be the front line of preventing discrimination in the workplace. And you're likely going to be the person making decisions that determine someone else's entire livelihood and perhaps even their entire life. This is something that the law is heavily involved in, and for good reason. These are extremely important decisions that are going to be made by you, and they're going to be affecting even thousands of people, depending on what organization you're working with. So these two fields really do come together in an extremely important way, and sometimes I think it's almost so obvious that you don't even realize it. The academic benefits of the program are really significant. Uh, so first thing, you're going to get nine credits for each degree. So the total credit requirements for each degree separately will be cut by nine apiece which means that you'll graduate with both degrees one year sooner than you would if you were doing both of the degrees separately. So, for example, if you were to do the program separately, it would take you three years to get your JD and it would take you two years to get your MHRLR. But if you're doing the dual degree program, you're going to graduate in four years instead of the five that it would take. Another benefit is that the program itself has been tailored to consider your needs as a dual degree student and to sort of help you get maximum benefits that you're going to get from having these two degrees while you're doing them at the same time. I have never felt like I didn't have somebody there who I could talk to if I needed advice about how to proceed in the program and how to proceed with my career especially considering that I had these two degrees and the different route that that's going to take me away from people who would just have one or the other. I've also always felt like I've had the resources necessary to complete the degree and to achieve my goals. And those resources, you can tell, have been prepared ahead of time. And other people have made use of them and they are proven to be effective. This is something that's going to be a bit of a challenge. It's not easy to do, but the benefits are there for you. The time benefits, the money benefits, and the people and resources that you need to be successful having both of these degrees and going on the career path that you're going to want to take with both of these degrees. The professional benefits from the dual degree program are honestly the things that I was concerned about most when I was considering the program because, as I've talked about, these fields do go hand in hand and there are significant academic benefits to doing the dual degree program. But, you know, what good was that going to do me if I got onto the workforce and it didn't really help me? in finding employment to begin with, and then it didn't really help me advance my career. So something that I figured out pretty quickly is that one of these degrees can get you in the door, but the other one's going to set you apart. So it doesn't matter which degree you choose to lead with, your JD or your MHRLR. One of them is really going to be necessary to get into a particular field. And then the other one is going to make you the much more valuable employee from the very beginning. So just as an example, in my own personal career, the organization that I'm going to work for after I graduate with the dual degree 
has assigned me three roles. The first is a human resources business partner. The second is a labor relations specialist. And the third is in corporate compliance. I would not have gotten my assignments as a labor relations specialist or in corporate compliance if it weren't for my law degree. However, I wouldn't have even been considered for employment if it weren't for my MHRLR degree. In the Labor Center of Excellence in the organization that I'm going to work for, all but one person has experience in both human resources and labor relations and the law. And many of them have both degrees or some academic background in both fields. This also sort of makes you an all-knowing go-between when you're in the workplace. And as an example of this, when I was working in my internship this past summer, I was tasked with a lot of the labor relations work, which involved especially in the corporation I was working for, a lot of legal coming in from corporate. But legal didn't really know a lot about what was going on on the ground or about the policies, procedures, employee backgrounds, the relationship with the union or the relationship with the employee that we were dealing with. And the human resource and labor relations specialist didn't totally understand everything about the legal side. Well, this sort of made me, two weeks into an internship, uh, the all-knowing go-between. I could talk to legal in legalese, and I could explain what was going on on the ground from the human resource and labor relations specialist perspective. And I was able to explain the legalese to the human resources and labor relations specialists, so that everyone had a great understanding of what was actually going on. That made me the go-between. Both sides wanted to come talk to me. Both sides wanted me to explain what was really going on to the other. And I had just been working with the company for two weeks. So it really set you apart in that way and in many other ways. But and that's just a, a, I think, feel like a great example, that you really become such a valuable participant and a valuable team member because you understand how these two fields connect and how that works out actually on the ground. Uh, a final benefit, I feel, is the networking. Networking, networking, networking. How many times have you heard that in law school and in the MHRLR program? I have heard it so many times, I dream about it. Having access to both networks, it might honestly be worth the tuition for the dual degree program itself. Networking is so important in both fields, truthfully. Uh, that's why we hear about it all the time. But having access to both networks that both programs provide you at the same time is just incredible for your career and it helps you branch out and it helps you really have a huge amount of people that you can call on and that you can associate yourself with two businesses and that allows you to really put yourself out there in a way that you can't with just one network. So having both at the same time is incredibly beneficial to you and it can really help you advance your career much more quickly than if you only had one network base to go off of as you're getting into your career. My recommendation to you is simply this. If you find studying uh, human resource management and labor relations interesting and you find studying the law interesting and you can see how these two fields really come together and how having significant knowledge about both of them can make you a better employee 
and how it can help you pursue things that you would want in your career, then you should seriously consider the dual degree program at Michigan State University. A uh, final suggestion I'd like to leave you with is to reach out, really uh, reach out and talk to professors, advisors in both programs. Really get to know the people that you're going to be learning from and the advisors who are going to be helping you get through the dual degree program. Don't let your lack of knowledge about what is going to happen and how this is going to work be the thing that stops you from doing it. People are going to be so helpful and so informative and so encouraging. And just reaching out and asking, really trying to get down and understand everything that you can before you make this decision is something that you definitely should do and something that people are waiting for you to do. So help us help you and I guarantee it'll be worth your time.